Hi, I'm Shannon Henry, an Applications Engineer here at EMA Design Automation. Today we will be talking about best practices for component selection. In the past, and still in some larger companies, component selection was completed by a component engineer, a designated person in the company who understands all specifications of a part and their effect in a project. However, in today's world, many engineers do not have this luxury. As positions are consolidated, this responsibility falls on the electrical engineer. So what factors need to be considered when choosing a part? The first step in component selection is determining the performance class of your assembly. According to IPCA 610, an assembly can be categorized as either Class 1, Class 2, or Class 3. Class 1 includes general electronics whose major requirement upon assembly completion is to function. Class 2 is defined as dedicated service electronics. These are products where continued performance and extended life are required. Class 3 is for high performance electronics. Class 3 products must function when required, such as life support or other critical systems. These products may be used in uncommonly harsh environments. Please note that due to the required performance and quality levels, the cost of components increases for each class. Now that the class has been determined, there are a few other factors to consider. When selecting a component, you must consider the mechanical restrictions. Many boards must fit into a specified enclosure. Therefore, you must consider the package size to ensure all the components will fit on the board, and package height so the component will not interfere with the mechanical enclosure. Manufacturing capabilities also play a part in your component selection. Take a look at the packaging and mounting type. To ensure they are compatible with your manufacturer's process, some questions you might want to ask yourself are, does your manufacturer support tube, cut tape, or tape and reel? Do you need surface mount or through hole components? Finally, to complete your design on time and on budget, consider the cost, availability, lead time, minimum purchase quantity, and part status. While a component may meet the mechanical and manufacturing requirements, typically projects are cost driven and time sensitive. Pay close attention to the availability and lead time. As these could have a detrimental effect on your project if not considered. Also, if your assembly is class 3 and will be used in harsh environments, be sure to check the operating temperature of the component. Thanks for joining us today and be on the lookout for more Whiteboard Wednesday sessions with the PCB design experts here at EMA Design Automation.